I want to go to Mr. G.K. Pillay, who, as I said, I spoke to earlier, and I began by asking him, Mr. Pillay, what is makes Manipur such a difficult state to govern that every time we think peace is returning, we have another flare-up? What explains the latest flare-up, according to you? Well, Manipur has been uh, having problems for quite some time. Uh, the problem between uh, the, uh, the valley people in the Maitis and the hill tribes has been there for uh, quite some decades. And uh, we've, they've not been able to uh, come to any uh, conclusion or a dialogue which has not opened. So the lack of a dialogue has actually uh, created uh, suspicions uh, among the communities. And uh, in recent weeks, uh, a number of developments have taken place which have aggravated uh, uh, these suspicions. And uh, the violence that broke out uh, a few days ago is actually the culmination of some things which have been happening for in the last few weeks. I'll come to and I'll give the viewers an explainer of what exactly is happening in Manipur. But before that, do you think, Mr. Pillay, there was a failure on the part of the government and the police? Or was this an intelligence failure that failed to detect the simmering tensions between the Metes who are dominant in the Imphal Valley and the Cookies in the hill areas? Well, for all uh, people who were, uh, you know, uh, looking at Manipur in the last few weeks, uh, it was very obvious that tensions were building up. Uh, you had uh, the cases of uh, where uh, the uh, uh, you know even the chief minister's function at Churachandpur. You had an issue of where the encroachment uh, in Churachandpur was attempted to be removed by. Uh, the Manipur government, and there was objection uh, to that. So uh, we've seen this little bit of violence which has been coming. And uh, I think uh, the Manipur government, uh, in one sense, uh, failed to act, to realize, to, to take note of these signals mm -hmm. and take preventive steps to see that the situation didn't uh, deteriorate to such an extent where you had these uh, large-scale uh, I should say, ethnic clashes which have taken place, which is very unfortunate. What is the way forward, given that 50 people have died, thousands rendered homeless, Mr. Pillay? How should the government, in your view, restore peace in the state? Is it just getting in greater army presence, or does it require more than that? I think the most immediate thing is to make sure that uh, there is no further law and order situation. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, the law and order situation com is completely under control. Uh, you have to make sure that uh, those who have been affected uh, are rehabilitated, uh, compensated for the damage that has been caused uh, to their shops, to their vehicles, and so on and so forth, so that uh, some element of trust, uh, those who have left uh, their houses, uh, their shops, and so on, uh, in all, all areas, uh, should be able to be, go back, and all party meetings will have to be held to encourage that. And once uh, th this process is done, uh, then I think, um, or simultaneously itself, the state government should start a dialogue with all uh, concerned parties to try and find a solution which is, in, a, in one sense, a long-term solution to the whole issue, all the issues. Mm -hmm. uh, land uh, issue, you've got uh, uh, issue of uh, their uh, rights on the uh, forest, forest rights, uh, you've got uh, issues of encroachment in the forest, we got issues of uh, the, their own uh, forest rights, which the uh, tribal communities have. All these have to be now put on the table, discussed, a solution found. Uh, we've got even uh, the, uh, the refugees who have come across from Myanmar as a result of the civil war there, uh, how to handle them, uh, where, where they have to be settled. Uh, they obviously have to be settled in refugee camps. They can't uh, encroach on the forests. So all these uh, issues have to be taken up and discussed uh, in the open mm -hmm. and not allow tensions to uh, come up. And uh, this requires uh, some element of uh, goodwill and, uh, you know, what shall I say, a statesmanship from the leaders of all the communities in Manipur.